Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. At present, Chetak and Cheetah helicopters are the lifeline of our armed forces station at high altitude region where it's impossible to reach by a road. As the total technical life of older Cheetah and Chetak starts ending in 2023, there's an urgent requirement for light utility helicopters. In Army, Air Force, Navy have a combined requirement of around 500 such light helicopters for various operational roles. HAL is expecting a combined order for Army and Air Force for about 187 light helicopters which include 126 for Indian Army and 61 for the Air Force. Last year in November, the Ministry of Defence had placed an initial order for 12 LSP light utility helicopters out of which 6 are for Indian Army and another 6 for the Indian Air Force. These 12 new choppers are meant for transportation of men and supplies to high altitude areas besides evacuation and reconnaissance role. Besides the reconnaissance role, the LUH can also be used for light attack operations. HL has designed the helicopter with two configurations, armed and unarmed one. This can be understood from the display used in LUH. LUH has a glass cockpit configuration called Smart Cockpit Display System which is equipped with three smart multifunctional displays and these multifunctional displays have aspect ratio of 4 to 3 and resolution about 1024 by 768. The three displays will be connected to electro-optical sensors of the helicopter. The EO sensors on board can be controlled by pilots with the help of smart multifunctional display. In the non-weaponized configuration, one of these smart multifunctional displays will be configured as bus controller and other two as remote terminals. In the weaponized configuration, a separate mission computer would be integrated to act as the bus controller. The present design has option to integrate even the anti-tank guided missiles with LUH which will be integrated again with the electro-optical sensors and smart multifunctional display. The heart and soul of this helicopter is going to be its electro-optical sensors. So be it recon mission or transport or armed missions, the electro-optical sensors data would be vital for LUH for its effective operation. The proposed EO system in the turret of LUH are IR or FLIR camera, iSafe laser range finder, laser designator, short wavelength IR and low light cameras. The video captured from these EO sensors will be displayed onto the smart multifunctional display and an additional signal may be required for the weaponized role. The EO IR sensors will be integrated with LUH and will provide it day and night observation capabilities to search, detect, acquire, recognize and identify targets. For armed roles, it will aid in aiming and designation of targets as well as measurement of range of targets and automatic target tracking. This is a smart design approach by HL where it has designed LUH considering it can be weaponized in future with anti-tank guided missiles and other ammunition if needed. Now let's also quickly look into the delivery timeline of the 12 LUH which were ordered by the armed forces. The production of LUH has already begun this financial year and the armed forces are expected to get 4 LUH this year and remaining 8 in next financial year. As per reports, 2 LUH are already in the advanced stages of production. Once the order of 12 LUH will be completed, a much bigger order of LUH is expected. The limited series production will be completed from Bengaluru. However, the mass production of LUH will happen at new helicopter manufacturing complex at Tumkur. It will have capacity to produce helicopters of 3 ton to 12 ton category. The Tumkur assembly line will be capable of producing 60 helicopters per year from 2023 onwards. It is expected to be fully operational from March 2022. At the same time, the Ministry of Defence also needs to clear the acceptance of necessity for 175 more LUH, which has been pending for quite a long time. Without sufficient order, in time HL's capacities would run idle and the production would see delayed due to non-availability of critical items. Talking about HL's LUH, it is a single-engine, multi-role, lightweight helicopter in 3-ton class featuring state-of-art technologies. LUH has pilot and co-pilot in side-by-side -side configuration. The roles to be performed by LUH includes armed reconnaissance, aerial photography, 
scout in conjunction with attack helicopters and troop transport for military version and commuter role for civilian version. It can transport six personnel besides pilot and co-pilot. The chopper is capable of carrying cargoes of up to one ton under this lung. It gives a range of nearly 350 kilometers with 500 kg of payload and total ferry range of 500 kilometers. It has a service ceiling of 6.5 kilometers and the helicopter has already proven its capability at high altitudes of Himalayas during numerous trials. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.